Well everybody, we've just arrived on the lake so uh, still a bit early but hopefully a few tench might start feeding you never know, might even get one or, one or two carp as well we've got the old faithful sweet corn and we're going to have a go and uh, see what we can produce. I've just seen a rise just out there. Don't know exactly what it was. Well, that's promising. Yeah, so just around this sort of area here, we're going to be having a go and see if we can get any tench. Look at that, isn't it beautiful? A full moon this morning and hopefully we're going to be catching one or two tench it is early it's uh, late april but i'm hoping for one or two tinkers because i've been told that one or two are coming out so fingers crossed we'll uh, we'll have one or two and hopefully they'll be feeding on the sweet corn So, what we're going to be using today is uh, PVA bag systems. We're going to uh, cast out, I'm going to be using some halibut pellets and sweet corn on the hay. I see the geese are on here, making the presence known. Don't mind that at all. Love these uh, early morning tension. So, fingers crossed, we're going to get one or two fish. So, let's get all the stuff out, set it up, and uh, I might go through a few things with you, what sort of rigs I use, uh, the rods, the reels, etc, etc. So, uh, let's get it all out. Right, so this is the uh, mix we're using for uh, our PVA bags. Really, really good bait. Halibut pellets, very oily, and the fish can find them, no problem. And then, of course, we've got sweet corn. Good old faithful sweet corn. So, what I like to do, put three grains of corn on the hair and put about 10 grains in the PVA bag cast it in and hopefully that's going to attract a tench or a bream or maybe a carp but these two are a very good bait I've caught quite a few fish on them and uh, I should continue using them So that's it, the baits are in. All we need now is a fish. Yeah, so I've got a bite alarm, swing indicator, Shimano reel loaded with 15 pound line. You may say it's a bit heavy for tench fishing, but we do have carp here, up to 30 pounds, possibly even more. So if I do manage to hook one of those, I want to land it. And of course, you've got all these reeds here and I want the strength and the power to hopefully turn the fish and uh, land it and of course we've got some sunken snags just over there and I'm going to need the power if I get one of those big fish I mean even a tench, a double figure tench that live here they fight quite hard so I want to be able to get them out but yeah, beautiful morning Let's hope we get something. Yeah, we've got some little baby ducklings here. 
you can tell spring has arrived. They're eating the flies that are coming off the surface. Absolutely adorable. Well, we've been in roughly two hours now and uh, nothing. Not a twitch, not a movement, nothing. So I don't think they're quite moving around yet. There's been absolutely nothing. So I'm going to give it another hour and if not we'll uh, come back tomorrow and see if I can catch one. But it's a glorious day but there's just nothing happening. Absolutely nothing. But it's me and the, uh, the wildlife, I don't mind that at all. You know, it's nice to be out. Good for the soul. At least we're not locked up. You know what I mean? So it's just nice to be out here enjoying the wildlife. So we'll give it another hour and then uh, we'll have to try again tomorrow. Yeah, this is what I'm seeing. You can see what I mean. It's an absolute beautiful morning. It's just that uh, nothing's happening. I've seen one or two small roach rise. Well, that's been it. Other than that, it's been absolutely dead. So we've come back eventually seven weeks later to this uh, particular lake of mine and hopefully today the tench might be feeding. It's been warm for four or five days and I'm hoping that's kick started the tench to feed because over the past seven weeks it's been absolutely freezing. I haven't caught anything, I've been on here and I've blanked seven times so let's fingers crossed this morning it's bright and early round about half past five. So let's hopefully today the tench are going to feed. But uh, it's getting quite windy and we're supposed to get a bit of a rain later but I don't mind because it's been hot, it'll clear the air and hopefully uh, the tench will start feeding properly now. So I'm back in the same position again. I've decided to tuck one of the uh, the baits just in this little bay here and then one of the baits over near not too near the snag but just off and uh, fingers crossed we'll get a tench off there I'm probably about maybe six foot off something like that but uh, I'm hoping so because it's soul destroying you keep coming you keep baiting and you never got a knock or anything so fingers crossed today we'll uh, We'll get a fish. Oh, we've just got a nice tension. Finally, on the sweet corn. They go hard to these tench. This one is. It's going absolutely mad. It's not particularly that big. But it's a nice fish, it's a nice welcome fish considering I've been catching on here. No, it's still got some power this one. It certainly has got some power. Come on, Mr. Tench. In you come. There we go. All that time for a tench. Well, this has been hard work. We've finally got a tench. It's not big, 413, but I've been here about seven times and blanked. And it was about 
seven weeks ago I last filmed here and it just hasn't been fishing at all because we had such a cold spring and this is the, the first one from this particular lake so I'm quite chuffed. There we are, another beautiful tench. This one's nice and uh, slender, this one, you know, put up a nice scrap as you saw, but it's been very, very hard fishing on this particular lake, so I'm pleased to catch it. So let's get it back and rebait and let's see if I can get another one. I've seen one or two fish on the surface this morning. having a few indications of tench moving around on this left hand rod just in a little bay there so I'm hoping it won't be too long before we get a run because I've had three knocks on this particular rod now So fingers crossed, like I say, we've got a few fish feeding in the area. So they're liking the sweet corn. I'm just going to have to wait and see. Ooh, got another tench on here. Looks about the same size. Strong fish of these tench, especially this one. Nice tench, I think that's it. Oh, it's a nice fish. There we go. Lovely. Another tinker. Here we go, the moment of truth. I think this one's a little bit bigger. Six pound two, lovely tench, beautiful. Another beautiful tench. You can see it's got, again, this red coloration on the skin, but that's just an infection. That will heal up. Absolutely stonking fish. Big so how about that then? After all the hard work, I'm starting to get into some big fish. A beautiful tench, I mean it's a big tench. Six pound two, I know it's not the biggest, but it's really nice. There we go. Another big, 
beautiful female tench just over six pounds absolutely fantastic you know absolute incredible fish a tench and this one absolutely fantastic it's nearly time to go home now but with a tench like this i am so so happy i've worked so hard for this fish you know so absolutely stunning <laughs> what a cracker Well, how about that then? I was just about to return the other tench and I got another one, a little bit smaller, four pound 11, but it's quite fat. There we go, another nice tench, another four pounder. They're going quite well this morning, which is good because over the past, uh, well, like I say, seven weeks, I haven't been doing very well on this particular lake because we've had that such cold spring but uh, looks like they're feeding now which is good and uh, yeah this is a really really nice plump fish so I didn't quite get it on the GoPro uh, but there we go it's a beautiful tench and I'm very very pleased to catch it so let's see if we can uh, get out there and uh, catch a few more of these beauties There you go, down you go. Straight into the weeds. This rod's just roared off. And we've got a a nice tension. Yeah, they're going well today, the tench. Aren't you? Like in the sweet on. There we go. Looks like another nice fish. Even a bit of line. There we go. In you come, Mr. Tench. Beautiful. There we go. Look at that. Another nice tench. This one's probably around about four pounds. Two. Right, yeah. Just as I sat down, we get another tench. Beautiful. Right, let's get this one straight back and uh, let's see if we can get another one. There we go, four pound, nine ounce of mussel. Going back into the lake. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. It makes up for all them blanks. So we're back at the house now, so that was a nice little session, four hours, four tench, best six pound two. But yeah, I'm absolutely pleased to uh, to catch those tench because it's been very hard work. We've had a really cold spring and it's really took them a long time to get going on that particular lake. But uh, we've managed some, we've managed a nice six pounder. I know it's not big as tench go, but it's a really, really welcome fish 
you know considering I've been struggling so if you've liked this video please like the like button and if you would subscribe please it would be very much appreciated and I should be doing another video pretty soon and it's probably going to be on the river and it's going to be after Babel